Alright, guys, and I am back! Welcome to set 14 of Let's Play Legend of Dragoon! Um, I didn't do anything off screen, so let's go. <laughs> Sorry. Um, however, comma, I will announce that I finally have my PS4 back. It is work in all working order, everything is great. Problem is, I have to reinstall every single thing because they decided to format my hard drive. Fuck! Now, it's, it's really annoying, but thankfully, since I was a PlayStation Plus member, uh, I think it happens only for PlayStation Plus members, I'm not so sure of anything else. But, let me attack this guy real quickly. Eh, eh, eh. Okay, so thanks to me being a PlayStation Plus member, at least according to what the um, perks were having says, my uh, data was uploaded to the cloud. So now I just have to redownload all my uh, save files again, which is going to take more fucking ever. So, yay! But, thankfully, this means I don't have to restart a lot of my games. Like, I don't have to uh, restart Legend uh, not Legend of Dragoon. I don't have to restart um, uh, Dragon Age Inquisition. I'll probably do that anyway, just for um, my OCD. <laughs> but we'll see about that. As, by, as uh, in, we'll see about that, I mean, once I finish recording uh, an Ansal going through the Jaws of Akon DLC, I'm going to be doing that. That's going to be my next big project. <laughs> that I'm going to be doing off screen. So, yay! That means there's probably not going to be a lot of uh, addition grinding off screen. It's going to be mostly me uh, doing that. Okay, cool. Oh my god. But she's level up one more time and she'll get her next uh, addition if memory serves. That's like I have Mary in my party. <clears throat> I just need to work on his so I can get him up there, level him up, and, he, and just get him the fuck out once he's done. So yeah, basically what I'm going to be doing off screen is, um, after I get the Jaws of Cone DLC done with an unsolved, I'll be recreating all three characters, yet again, and, um, oh, hello. <coughs> oh, wait. Ah! Oh, shit. And I'll be, uh, replaying the entire game again. Uh, one at a time, of course. <laughs> I'm not gonna do uh, uh, all at the same time. That'd be nuts. Oh, we're alone again. Hey, Rose. Ugh, I didn't know he was one of the Winglies. Rose? Come a feel. Come a feel. Rose, come on. Uh, can you tell me who I am? I thought you were dead. Huh? Don't worry, I am carrying out your will. We took this world back. Uh, together. I won't let them ruin it. Ah, she's delirious. With your eyes, your embryo, the moon with black power. Black Power? Are you talking about the mo Black Monster? Uh oh. Neat, 18 years ago. Did we already see this cutscene? I'm certain we saw this one as well, but I'm not absolutely sure. Stay here. Ah. No. Take care of Dart. And off he goes. Your father is a strong person. You have that strength in you. So... You can wait here by yourself, okay? Ah, shit. 
Where are you going? I'm going back to the village to fight. Really? I'll protect your hometown and with your father. Live strong. Run away! Aww. It's kind of disheartening. Mom? Dad? Molester uncle? Sorry. Ooh, shiny. This is my dad's important shiny stone. So that means, quite literally, right there was probably the, his father's remains just in ash. Fuck. Mom, Dad. Count 108 years, and when the moon that never sets glows, glares red, the moon child descends to the earth and shall give a holy blessing to the world. Fester said, what really appears is not the moon child, but the black monster. What kind of relationship exists between the black monster who destroys all and the moon child who blesses the world? Rose, what do you know about this? Dart, Rose! Hello, Meru. Finally, I found you guys. It's kind of hard to miss. Oh boy, Rose, she passed out. Oh boy, I'll carry Rose first. Alrighty. Man, her wings are awesome. I do love that the wingly wings are actually uh, energy and not, you know, physical wings. It makes them seem more uh, magical oriented than just, you know, giant feathery wings. Darn, I'm beaten. It's my fault letting him go. I apologize for it. It's not your fault, Rose. Nobody knew he could use a wing he was a wingly and could use who could use magic. Don't worry, he'll find out we'll find out where he went. I agree. Lord's obje objectives are still the divine moon objects. Miranda, there is no need for you to hide it. Tell us about the divine moon object in Mile uh, Sesu. Sesu, whatever. It's not like you, Miranda. Don't hesitate. I guess there's no choice but to tell everything. The Divine Moon objects are said to be brought uh, brought by the Winglings. Yeah, we know that. And it is said that they have dreadful magic power concealed within. That is the reason why they were never allowed to be taken outside a national outside national treasure that has been kept a close secret. It's called the Moon Mirror. The successive uh, thrones have been the keys to opening the seal. Oh, it cannot be. We can trust us in danger. Alright, let's go. So by now, this is probably um, old news, by the way. Um, but I'm going to talk about it in case you haven't heard. Because for those who don't keep uh, up to date with E3 news, don't know. I probably won't know unless they've been, you know, on Tumblr or something like that. Um, just recently... As in, a few days ago, there was a announcement. Excuse me. Yes. Mm, fuck. That um, Square is going to be releasing Final Fantasy VII as an HD port. Hold on a second. Boop. 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 Damn. As well as a a um, Final Fantasy VII. Fuck you. Remake. And by remake, I don't mean as in the uh, tech demos we've seen in the past. You know, showing off the PS3 hardware. Uh, the PS2 hardware with Final Fantasy VIII, and the uh, PS4 hardware, which was 
very popular just using you know scenes from Final Fantasy 7 and 8 to demonstrate going this is what this console can do. No, it is outright stated they're working on a remake. And yes, I am going to be getting it day one. And as usual, when I do get a day one let's play or day one game, I'll be recording it that night, probably around midnight or so, and recording the first set, first set uploading it and making it public right away. Um, I'm going to try my best to have it be a co-op Let's Play, so if you guys are looking forward to that. Um, I'm also going to uh, give you guys a quick heads up, because they have released this bit of information as well about it. The uh, remake is going to diver uh, uh, not diverge, well, kinda. Um, deviate, is a better word, from the source material a bit. Um, I'm not exactly sure what that entails. What I believe it means, hold on, boop, 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 is that they are going to uh, change some aspects to the story, but keep the main points um, there. Since uh, it's possible that some people haven't played Final Fantasy VII, um, I actually know of one person that's never played Final Fantasy VII, so don't say, who, what type of person exists? That doesn't exist. Um, uh, what's I going to say? Since that's the case, I'm not going to spoil anything about the main franchise. About the franchise. The game. And I ask that you guys don't do that as well, because, you know, reasons. If you want, if you want to talk about Final Fantasy VII, I have a Let's Play up. Feel free to post stuff about there, especially especially um, uh, theories about what the remake's going to entail. I would love to read those. Anywho. Um, again, follow my usual rules, though, that uh, don't post anything unless it's already happened in the main storyline. Anyway. Um... <laughs> What I think is going to happen, like I said, is that they're going to keep the uh, core story. So basically, uh, the opening, the end of disc one, um, some of the events in disc two, probably, and then the ending, and then the ending, obviously. But they're going to change little bits of information, a little bits of uh, of the story from A to B to C to D, that type of thing, you know. And honestly. I'm actually kind of glad about that. Um, if you were to look at the game from a non-nostalgic point of view, the storyline's kind of... is good, but it's still a little eh. That's just my personal opinion, though. Um, I still really like the game, don't get me wrong. Anywho, um, I really want to see what they change. Shit. And that's because I spoke bad about Final Fantasy VII, damn it. Um, I'm looking forward to it. What I do hope they add into it is they have a system similar to what was in Crisis Core with Materia. Where you can uh, fuse Materia together to get new ones. They have new Materia, new summons, a summon skip feature, uh, summon uh, video skip feature, especially for Knights of the Round. Dear God, that thing just drags on and on and on. But, um, I hope they update all that, which would be really cool. Um, also there. New weapons, new characters, maybe. Eh? I would also like if they um, either release a DLC for it, since it is going to be a remake, they can have DLC for it, or have unlockable uh, costume skins where you can change a character's physical appearance. Like, it would be really cool if uh, you can unlock a Zack Fair costume for Cloud. It would be so much fun running around Zack. Boop. Boop. Boom. Like during the uh, optional cuts, during the optional quest where you find out about Zack in the main game. Um, after you do that, you unlock his uh, soldier outfit and you can actually equip it and become him. Yes. I think that'd be kind of cool. Same thing with um, unlocking Sephiroth clones or shit like that. <laughs> Highly doubt it's gonna be the case, but you know. Either way, it'd be really awesome. Um, now the reason why they're, uh, they've announced that they're going to be changing the story this early is so, you know, fans aren't caught off guard, first and foremost. The second being, um, like I said earlier, they're also releasing a HD port to the PS4. Um, I'll explain in more details after this why that's why they're changing the story. I wonder where Sister Miranda and the other people are. And if they're safe. 
to make sure that we, the Sacred Knighthood, are going to act as reinforcements. Don't worry, there's no need. Our, our <laughs> there's no there's no way our sister Miranda can lose. Yes, indeed, we cannot imagine her losing. But I cannot imagine that the, that giant dragon will lose either. Please don't say such an Ill, Ill omen thing. I'm sorry, ma'am. Sister Miranda, Dart, and company are legendary dragoons. <clears throat> we might not be needed. Dragoons? They are mere humans anyway. Ah, great. Ah, so he does come back. Who is it? Humans do not uh, don't need to know my name. Oh no, are you a Wingly? Yes, I am. We are the rulers of you humans in ancient endiness. And now I am your executioner. Oh my God! That is, this is what you asked for. This is the great battle of liberation. And your scream is its overture. You conceited humans, go to hell. You're the conceited bastard. Shut the fuck up. The conceited one is you. Thank you, Lloyd. Uh, you are... Mr. Lloyd! You are so easily overtaken. You blocked the magic power. Who are you? I don't need to answer you. Watch your mouth. Mr. Lloyd! It just... Doop -a -doop -a -doo. I will let anyone hinder the liberation of Wheelies. I'll annihilate all humans. What are you liberating from? You're not, you're not oppressed. Liberations of Wheelings? <laughs> You sound so old-fashioned. A world without humans? <laughs> it won't be any different from the forest you're coop up, cooped up in. I have made many sacrifices for my ideals. But your ideals cannot be achieved unless you annihilate everything? Of course, my grudge, my hatred, I'll sell them all with human lives. You should not be alive. I won't die alone. Yeah, you will. If you can block your attacks, you think you can't block that explosion? Or survive it, at least. Mr. Lloyd! I went out of my way. Oh, you're wounded. Please let us treat you at the castle. Ah, oh, great. Okay. Give me a second. The main reason why um, it's a good thing that they're changing the uh, story for Final Fantasy VII, the remake, and a little bit at least, and um, the reason why it's a good thing compared to the uh, with the PS4 4 port coming out as well, is because they're basically going to be selling the same game twice, if that's the case. The only difference is going to be if they remake it exactly as it was before, just with better graphics, is it's just, just that, it's going to have better graphics. Why in the hell would you buy the original if you can just buy a prettier version of it? So basically, they want to sell the people the original nostalgic one, with it with trophies and whatnot, to people who want it, and give the people who haven't played it a uh, game of their own. So they can have their own nostalgic Final Fantasy VII with greater graphics and stuff that they're used to because they grew up in a generation that didn't have these blocky, pixelated uh, characters. So, yeah. I'm really glad that they're doing that. It really is a smart move, in my opinion, that they're doing it. And if you basically buy the HD port and the uh, remake, you're probably not going to play the remake if you play the HD port first because the HD port is coming out first, I believe. And you're probably going to be burnt out by the time uh, the next game comes out. So, yeah. Smart move on their uh, half, of my on their part, in my opinion. So yeah, I'm looking forward to both. I'm going to get both. Um, if you're... <laughs> I will probably do a, a Let's Play on both of them as well. One for the trophy data and one for uh, the other one. Sister Miranda! Oh, Commander of Knights. We were, we were, successful, in uh, we were successful in defeating the Divine Dragon and... What happened to you? You were injured. Queen Tressa. Queen Tressa was abduc abducted. What did you say? By who? A man called Lloyd. 
We're too late. What are you doing? What are you doing? Nice. Do you know where he took her? Well, tell me. Sister Wink might know something. My sisters are safe, aren't they? Everybody is waiting for the the group to come back to the Crystal Palace. Alrighty. So yeah, um, it's a smart move on their part, uh, both um, in terms of uh, getting fans to the franchise as well as a financial one. I believe it's mostly oriented to finances, but I don't know their current situation, so I can't say that for sure. Hey, we already got the thing from you. So yeah, it's um, gonna be interesting to say the least. This, but um, I do plan on doing another uh, let's play of the original Final Fantasy. Uh, when it comes out to as, as an HD port, I am going to uh, probably play it just for the uh, trophy data that's going to be uh, available for it. Let's see here. That. Okay. What arms? I'll keep everything else. Okay. <clears throat> so yeah, it's, I'm going to uh, probably play, do a Let's Play on uh, the original Final Fantasy when it comes out as an HD port. Um, and then when the remake comes out, I'll play that as well. So, yeah, that's pretty much what you're going to be expecting from me uh, in the upcoming uh, months. Or, not months. The last part of this year, probably. Either way, I'm looking forward to uh, I'm looking forward to uh, playing the eight, the remake. I'm looking forward to playing the port. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Yeah, I'm one of the few people probably that can play uh, the same game multiple times. Mostly due to mostly thanks to uh, this game or not this game, uh, this channel and how much I play games repeatedly in the in uh, the first place. <clears throat> Excuse me. What do you mean that Queen Teresa was taken away? What happened? Let me tell you. Take a second. A few days ago, when the howling of the, uh, the dragon from the Mountain of the Mortal Dragon stopped, we assumed uh, he had been successfully vanquished. It took a few days to get here? Damn. <clears throat> everyone, everyone was happy about it. I didn't realize it was that far away. Hmm. What's this? How long has it been since we stopped here in the Howling of the Divine Dragon? It's been about one week now. Fuck, really? It, it took us a week to get back there? Wow, that's actually kind of a... Uh... Kind of suiting for the channel. Fuck. <clears throat> Don't worry, Sister Liliana. Uh, Liliana, wrong game. Luana said the feeling of the divine dragon is gone. <clears throat> Hello. I am back. Back again. Sorry. I have good news for you, Queen Teresa. Sister Luana said it seems th they defeated the divine dragon. I'm glad. Now we can focus on the recovery of the uh, of the country. I appreciate it, Wink. Please give the knights their well-earned rest. About the knights, my knighthood is currently being treated. A wingly who had something against humans suddenly raided us. Winglies attacked you? According to Miranda, they are a friendly species. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, they could have talked about it. Never mind. I was like, how? I thought we went to... No. Okay. Some of the winglings are uh, militant. <clears throat> the gentleman repelled them so that we were able to uh, come back to the castle safe and sound. 
Let me introduce him. His name is Mr. Lloyd, Your Majesty. It is a pleasure to meet you, Your Majesty. Not only that, it was Mr. Lloyd who gave us good, uh, good news of the successful vanquishing of the Divine Dragon. How did you find out about it? It was a coincidence. I saw Sister Miranda and her companions who completed the vanquishing and the, dra the Mountain Dragon Tomb. I understand. Let me express my gratitude to you. Actually, it was not the first time I was saved by Mr. Lloyd. Oh, I remember. This is the gentleman. Uh, this gentleman is the man of the Fate Sister Wink. What? This gentleman is the man of the Fate Sister Wink was talking about. What isn't he? Kind of a weird sentence, but okay. Queen Teresa, she was saved from the bands in Donau by the gentleman too. It wasn't a coincidence, was it? Helping Wink and coming here. Sister Luana, what are you talking about? The murderous intention uh, you conceal inside, you cannot disguise it in front of me. Wait, Sadie, stay back. I felt it too. Something very wrong. I hadn't intended to make a scene. However, sometimes it can't be avoided. Queen <laughs> Teresa! That was the counter screen. I love it. Mr. Lloyd, what on earth? Don't come any closer. What do you want? I desire the moon mirror. Moon mirror? How do you know about it? You don't need to worry about that. You should just take me there, Your Majesty. Answer me, from the beginning. From the beginning. It was your purpose? We can get away. I just desire the power to create a utopia. Kutressa, he is reading your mind. Shall we go to the last Divine Moon object? Whoop! Well, shite. The last Divine Moon object? Is he going to end this? Miranda, where is the Moon Mirror? In the Tower of... Oh God, fucking damn it. Flanvol, in the west of... Kashua Glacier. These fucking words. Dress is the key to the tower. I'll take the care of the rest. Sister Miranda. We'll bring Queen, uh, Queen Teresa back. Uh, we are not going to let Lloyd get what he wants. You don't know what he wants. All you know is he wants the, the, the moon objects. For all you know, he ha he has a, he's a very adamant collector of moon-themed objects. Well, that's actually the case. You go to his home, he has, you know, just an entire wall filled with moon cakes and moon pies. <laughs> he's just like, yes, perfect. Uh. Huh. Sorry. I just woke up not too long ago. Alright, come on. Actually, uh, recording this uh, a few uh, a few hours before it's supposed to go uh, up. So this set may be fairly short. We'll see. Um, the main reason why I didn't record this sooner is because I was working on getting my uh, PS4 back. So yeah, fun shit. Ah. Uh. Fuck are you? Right, let's take a quick peek at our um, spells, those are the things on here. Powerful Earth, Powerful Thunder. I probably won't end up in, actually using these in a battle, so I might as well just use them now. Is it multi multiplayer or is it just. Boop? Oh, it's got, this one isn't. It's pretty cool. Woo! Crush. Seven twenty nine. Fuck. 